hello all uh, so that is our uh, mastercam training kit so i would like to show you some mastercam tricks so first of all and i am gonna select a uh, pocket toolpad like this and after that as you can see and i want to enter that point so that's why i am i am select point options after that i'm gonna click like this that point after that i change my select options so after that i am selected that chain so to make it perspective so after that i'm going to select that chain and so that is my third and uh, geometry so i'm going to click ok so as you can see my toolpad pocket and my chain geometry is uh, one point and second one is uh, that chain and the third one is that chain so i'm gonna click ok so after that i can keep going and tool select options that is my tool 10 millimeters and mean and so i prefer 0 0.15 feet rate and 150 cutting speed so after that i'm gonna click lifting parameters so retract point five and absolute options and the fit plane one and my top of stock is gonna be zero and after that my depth uh, it's gonna be minus three and because i select absolute options so after that i'm gonna click cut parameters my cut parameters machine direction conventional and uh, i don't wanna leave any stock on the wall and the floors so i'm gonna enter roughing my roughing cutting method is gonna be constant overlap spiral and first of all first of all and uh, i'm gonna select 50 percent for step over in that case i don't want to use the spiral to inside options so it means my toolpad is gonna be outside to inside after that entry motion uh, i'm gonna select ramp options and ramp from entry point and finishing options i'm gonna use one pass and spacing 0 0.1 and the compensation compensation calculated by computer i also want to use different feed rate than uh, my normal toolpad as you can see i calculated that from uh, this value so and the roughing options entry motion so finishing options so that's all and also in that case i don't want to use the deep cuts parameters because uh, i want to use the trocodio and the toolpad options so that's why i don't want to use the deep cuts so i'm going to click ok yes you can see i calculate my toolpad and i can hit it like this uh, okay i want to use the back load uh, simulation i'm gonna click ok as you can see that point my enter point so as you can see my pocket toolpad is ready so i can change my roughing options is a 10 percent so i'm gonna regenerate all 
URT operations. So after that, also I'm gonna click back below simulation again. As you can see, my toolpad, my toolpad is okay. So just a minute. I just wanna. Uh, make zero my sprint tasks also i don't wanna uh, also i can cancel that options for a while i just want to see something in my toolpath i'm gonna click ok as you can see my toolpath is going to outside to inside Okay, that's all. I think that's enough. Uh, that's enough. And if you want to use the finish options, because I cancelled it in pocket options, so uh, it will be better for us to use the, that stop to leave on walls and stop to leave on floors option. So in that case, I want to use the 0 0.1 and 0 0.05 as you can see my machine direction is conventional so i'm gonna click ok so i also gonna click regenerate operation i'm gonna click back load options and play it again okay that's all Also, wanna show you some uh, my facing parameters, and I use the same tool and to cut the parameters zigzag, and my maximum step over is 50% or of my tool, and I'm gonna use the conventional, and my working angel is uh, 45 degree so i'm gonna click ok also that is a good option i use the high speed loops and you can see in my full pack that is my loops high speed loops and that is help me to move one full pack the other full pack okay that's all that is a good toolpad, I think, and you can use it. Clearly, okay, that's all. Thank you.